Hi, my name is Tami Le. In this talk, I'm presenting hierarchical conditional relation networks for video question answering. This is Joyce's work with Vilnius Veta Venkates and Trinchen at Deakin University. So, visual QA and video QA in particular is capable for a wide range of real world applications but challenging to solve. Video QA requires understanding of temporal reasoning in addition to visual reasoning. Besides, videos are much richer with possible additional channels such as subtitle or speech and thanks to the spatial temporal nature of videos one can ask a range of questions for example question can be about temporal relations as the first two questions in this slide or simply about facts existing in the video as the last one in this work we aim for a reasoning engine that firstly it can effectively reflect the key features of videos including long short temporal relations, video hierarchy, and compositionality. Secondly, it can be readily extended to handle additional information channel. And finally, it can help to ease the model building process by simple rearrangements and block stacking with a generic units that we see in most of the breakthrough neural architectures such as ResNet or recurrent neural network. Uh, in particular, we propose a general purpose reusable unit called Conditional Relation Networks or CIN. The CIN is a relational transformer which encapsulates and transforms an array S of objects into a new as a array R um, conditioned on a contextual feature C. Uh, at the core of the CIN unit, it iteratively computes by higher order uh, relations between input objects. Um, in a subset uh, of S and subsequently uh, modulate the encoding through the contextual feature. Subsets are fixed on a random basis. Thanks to the flexibility of CN unit and its encapsulating design, we are able to stack them with um, together to form a deep hierarchical conditional relation network in a straightforward manner. Uh, in particular, we propose a way to use CN units to incorporate the relational knowledge from video objects with activity flows and linguistic context. At the clip level, the CN encodes the relation between appearance and um, frame appearance and integrate with clip motion and linguistic feature. At the video level, they capture the relations between clips and codings. Um, and integrate with video level motion and linguistic uh, feature uh, as context respectively. It's also capable to go deeper in hierarchy to deal with long videos. As for empirical results, we demonstrate the capability of SCIN in answering questions in major video QA dataset. Um, our model consistently outperforms state-of-the-art methods across all datasets the gap is more noticeable for those questions requiring strong temporal reasoning such as uh, repetition action tasks and state transition tasks in TGIF QA dataset. For a better understanding about our model, we provide some ablation studies on TGIF QA dataset. It's clearly seen that with our modeling temporal relation, um, the model performs poorly um, whereas the other aspects such as hierarchy uh, mo motion conditioning and linguistic conditioning consistently increment the model performance, uh, especially for those questions who require uh, strong temporal reasoning. Uh, here are some highlighted examples for which frame relations are key to word correct answers. For example, near-term relations are required for counting uh, fast-paced action while uh, far-term relations are needed for um, transition, for action transition. SCIN with the ability to model hierarchical relations handles them successfully while the baseline of uh, flash visual question interaction could not manage uh, to find correct answers. And last but not least, here are some highlights of our work. We propose a new general purpose relational reasoning engine for representation and reasoning over videos. Um, we examine the capability and flexibility of the proposed in it uh, in video QA by designing a hierarchical network architecture which reflects the temporal relation between entity for in um, in a video as well as multimodal interaction. And we would like to emphasize that our init is general purpose and therefore it can readily applicable for other compositional modalities such as linguistic and speech. Uh, thank you for listening.